Hi everyone, this is Mohammed and welcome to this tutorial. What we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna take this model and we're gonna rig it by Perseus Rigging 2. And also we'll demonstrate a couple of new features in this version. So let's install it by dragging install.mel into the viewport. After that, open the plugin manager. Make sure the matrix nodes are loaded in the plugin manager. Now let's open the auto rig. There are three steps for making facial rig. Defining the models, defining the components, and making facial curve guide. So let's start by defining the head mesh. Select this model and click on the head geo. Then select the right eye. If the eyeball is included the pupil, cornea, and sclera, make sure to combine them together and define only one mesh as IGO. Now click on the RIGO. Let's continue with the left side and click on the LIGO. Select the upper teeth. Click on the up teeth geo. Lower teeth geo. Select the tongue. Click on the tongue geo. Now select the hair and define as extra geo. Here we only got hair model. But we can select multi mesh such as eyelash, beard, or any other mesh and define them as extra geo. So all the head models are defined. Let's continue by defining the components by clicking on the next button. Select the eyelid edge loop and click on the L eyelid main. Now select the eyelid crease edge loop. And click on the L eyelid outer. Let's continue with the right side. Now select the nose edge. Click on the nose edge. Select the lip edge loop. Click on the lip edge. Select this vertex and define only one vertex as nose under vertex. Now we need to select the tongue edge. Select this edge loop and click on the tongue edge. If there is a hole or there is no edge loop in your model, you can select individually upper and lower edge and by click on the up and down blue button you can set the upper and lower edge. Now we need to define eyelid mask, squash and stretch and back head neck. We are defining these three sets for polish skin weights. Click on the eyelid mask. Let's select these components and define them as a squash and stretch. Now we should select the inside the mouth only the upper parts and also neck and the components which should has skin weights from the head joint. And define them as back head neck. We've already defined the components. Now let's continue with defining the facial curve guide. Click on the jaw curve. Select the neck head curve. Press F8. Move this point inside the head. Don't care about the head joint position because it's just for a skinning purpose. Eventually, when we connect the face rig to the body, we can use of the head joint on the body rig. Now click on the face curve. 
We are trying to adjust these curves as much as possible in the front viewport. Now click on the project curve to project all the curve guide on the face model. Now we might need to slightly move the curve points to align them in the perspective viewport. In this version, we have save and load button, which we can save all the input data plus facial curve guides. So, after generating the rig, if you might not happy with the result and you want to change some of the settings, or if you have a bunch of characters with the same topology but different proportion, you can open your file again, which is included only the models, load the data file, and by clicking on the green buttons, you can check your data. After changing the settings, you can regenerate the facial rig. If you want to export your character to the game engine, make sure to check the game checkbox. In this case, we don't have any squash and stretch and soft modification controllers. You can also optimize the joint count by checking this optimize lip joint and optimize eye crease joint. By default, the skin relaxes step is 3, which is fine, but if you're gonna to implement this optimize function, I recommend to increase it to 5. Now you can generate the rig by clicking on the facial rig. Now it's done. After generating the rig, if there's no proper shaders on some of the models, you can select them and open the UV editor and close it. It should be fine. As you can see, there are two new attributes on the facial settings, a squash stretch and soft modification. If you need to tweak a skin weight either manually or by exclusion system, or you need to make corrective shapes, you can do it on the facial setup geo group. In the next video, I show you how to connect the face rig to the body rig by these three buttons in the Perseus rigging toolbox. Hope you like it and thank you for watching.